guys, it's just a pipe now. Finally got a uh, Super Cub. It's a uh, model 1872. Got the 50-inch deck, front ports, hydraulic lift, got power steering, three-point hitch, factory three-point hitch. Not like the uh, one I put on 782. She needs some work. You know, it needs some cleaning up. I gotta, you know, do some paint and uh, replace some things here and there. It's mostly all cosmetics, as far as I know right now. Got a new battery. Uh, we're gonna have to do new tail lights and each headlights. But uh, it runs good when it runs. I have an issue with the uh, magneto. I got my spark checker on here. Um, I think the mice might have chewed a hole in the uh, kill wire, the white wire there, because you can have the thing running and do anything you want. And then uh, once you park it and let it sit for, you know, whatever. Seems to be if, if you let it sit for like more than 10 or 20 minutes or something like that, it, uh, it doesn't want to start. And uh, every time if you wiggle that white wire, which is the kill wire, if you wiggle it, it'll always run after that. So I'm thinking this must be a bad spot either in the kill wire or uh, somewhere like that. Probably the mice got to it and uh, chewed a hole in it. So yeah, let me start this thing up. Should start. Just had it running. Alright. Definitely taller than the uh, normal Cub Cadet. Got the dual brakes here. I don't think they really work. I think I gotta adjust them. Um, it looks like someone put on brand new brake pads. Power steering is pretty nice actually. I would turn the deck on if I had all the belts hooked up, but uh, I don't. Oh well, whatever. I gotta go through the deck. You know, the bearings are good. It's gonna sharpen the blade, new belts. But it runs good. Runs a little bit rich. That looks like blue smoke.
But yeah, other than it running a little bit rich, I shut off the gas. I always do that. If anything has a shut off anyway. <clears throat> Run a little bit rich. Um, you can't really do anything about it. These don't have the main jets, the Walbro carb. Uh, they got an idle mixture screw, but that's it. Um, I might mess with that after I get it all done here. And uh, I don't know. It's uh, runs good as long as it starts every time, and I don't have that issue with the uh, kill wire there grounding out. I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll be all set. But uh, yeah, not a bad tractor for a, uh, doing some trading here. Um, <clears throat> I also got a, a a parts 128 out of it too. And, uh, eh. it's okay. It, it's good for parts. <clears throat> you need a hood or something like that. Uh, it would take some work to get it to, like, this kind of condition. But, uh, whatever. You know, it's what I got. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm still not going to complain here. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool tractor. <clears throat> like I said, it's the first Super I've had. And, uh, I recommend getting one if you have a big yard. Um, I would actually like to have the 60 inch deck just because you know the supers that's what they it's kind of what they had but uh, they're only 40 are they 42 <clears throat> I think they're 42 inches wide outside of tire so you could put a 44 inch deck at the smallest that's even that, I probably wouldn't even do that. I would probably at least do a 50, 50 or a 60. But, uh, eh. Oh, well. I'll be having some uh, videos up of this. It's going to be going back yellow and white. I'm not going to do it in red. It would look cool as a 982, but, uh, eh. <clears throat> if I ever do sell it, um, at least you can you know, tell them it's the right colors and whatnot. I gotta hammer these things out pretty good. Or at least it's only the edges here. The guy gave me chains. I wouldn't doubt this had chains on it and uh, they were whipping up and hitting it. So, uh, oh. Oh, and when I had it upstairs, I noticed a pretty good leak. Um, pretty sure it was on the rear end. And we'll see if it still leaks. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna touch it. Um, if it does, I gotta find out where it's coming from. But I haven't noticed it at all today and I parked it on the uh, pavement over there. There's no spots. Um, so we'll see if there's uh, any leaks on this when I come out in the morning. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. <clears throat> I figured I'd show you guys the uh, before. Not really that bad, but uh, eh, not up to what I've been doing here. So we're gonna Scup the thing down, take it apart, throw some primer on it, so do some paint. I gotta make some new foot pads. Actually, these aren't really bad, but somebody's got some paint on them when they did the fenders over. Um, got gonna have some new decals, some new tires. I gotta see if I can get some tail lights. Uh, seat's good. I don't have to do a seat for once. Always have to do a seat. Even though this is something somebody put on there, but it it works, you know. Not too bad. But the tranny fluid is good. It's tight. Wow. Come on. Man. Yeah, it's nice. Nice and clean. I didn't change it. The guy did. Um, must have been a little while ago, but eh. Oh, well, these caps are always a pain to get on. Although I don't remember having this much issue on the 782. But, uh, yeah. Do some updates for you guys as I go along here. And, uh, see if I can find the issue with that Magneto. So, uh, hey. Enjoy the video. And, uh, there'll be more to come.